Hey everyone, it's Angus here. I just thought I'd share a cool chat GPT trick that I've been playing with uh, lately. So if I go to my IMDB um, profile on the website, and you know, IMDB is just a you know site that lets you rate all the TV shows and all the movies that you've watched. Um, and so I've been using it for quite a number of years and you know, every now and again, we'll put in a rating for a show or a movie that I've watched. All you do is you go to your profile, you go down to your ratings, at the top, you'll see these three little dots that lets you export it all. So you click on that and you go export. Once you've got your file exported, you click on that, which should open it up in Excel. And so, you know, here's all the TV shows and all the movies that I've rated on, you know, IMDb over the years. If I scroll down, you can see I've got, you know, roughly 487 shows and movies that I've rated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it up a bit. So I'm just going to scroll across the top. And how you do this is up to you, you know, depending on your different level of skills within something like uh, Excel or, you know, you could potentially use um, Google Sheets. I'm just going to go filter. And so I'm just interested in movies at the moment. So I'm going to take out everything that's not a movie. It's going to go OK. I'm going to highlight all these now. So you can just sort of slow the video down if you're not sure what I'm doing and pause it to see how I've changed things, but I'll go back to that and I'll go select all and I'll go sort A to Z. I'll say this one. So select all, Whoop. select all and sort, uh, sort over here. In fact, I'll go your rating, uh, sort largest to smallest. And so this is the shows that I've um, got in my sort of top list. And you can go through if you want to, you know, if you change your mind over a period of time, you can re-rate some of these. So, you know, Star Wars, I might say, was probably only a nine. Fantastic Beast might be a nine. You know, Last Blockbuster was probably an eight. You know, Aliens was that one, and that's Alien. So what I'll do is I'll just delete some of these columns just because I don't really need them. So I'm going to keep my rating. I don't need the date that I rated it. I'm going to keep the title. I'm going to get rid of the URL and the that one I'm going to keep the IMDB rating and I'm going to delete that and say so, and delete this one oh go back across to here and so you can see now I've got my rating the IMDB rating um, and the title so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to highlight these three and I'm just going to go sort and I'm going to sort it by my rating because that's the thing that's most important to me and I'm going to go largest to smallest and then just instead of me just having nines and eights all the way down here, I'm then going to sort it by the IMDB rating. I'm going to go largest to smallest. And so I've now got basically all the top movies that I've sort of liked over time. It's something every now and again, it appears with some junky stuff that I don't know what they are, but it's just perhaps it's picked up the name wrong or something like that. So I'll just have a quick look down through here. Uh, that's, that's the name of a movie, if you can believe that. So I'm going to highlight home just left align them all oh, left align them all let me just keep scrolling down anything below a rating of about six I, I probably just don't want just doing a bit of a data cleanup at the moment all right so let's get rid of anything below here just to reduce the amount of work that um, chat GPT has got to do and so now that I've done that, what I'm going to do up here is I'm going to scroll up to the top and I'm going to say something like, um, I, want to, I want to basically give chat GPT, so I might go insert and I might move the rating stuff from here just to here just to make it a little bit neater. And so I've now got this list of files. I'm going to go delete. And just to try and make it a little bit easy for chat GPT, I don't think I have to do this, but... Um, I might do it anyway. I just want to convert this into a bit more of a CSV type file where the title's broken up from the rating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go equals this column and this column and this column and hit enter. And you'll see that it's now formatted like this. So it's got aliens, my rating, and then the um, IMDB rating. But I want to break that up a bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in a comma. So I'm just going to go um, that plus that plus that, and then I'm going to add an end. So now that I've got that, because all you're doing is you're saying, 
you know, add these columns together, but in between put a, um, put a comma. Let's see if that looks correct. It does. And so you can just do that through trial and error just to make sure you, you get a CSV like that. Or if you wanted to, you could also export it to a text file, you know, just do file export as a CSV. But you know, this is a little bit quicker for me. I said, depends on your expertise level, I guess. Well, it's not letting me do that for whatever reason. I just wanted to basically say, you know, fill that in for all the ones below. Sometimes you can double click and it'll do it for whatever reason it didn't. And so you can see here, I've now ended up with a list of all the movies that I like. And again, I'm sure you could literally just say to chat GPT, you know, this is the movie, this is just a list of movies. Give me a list of movies that I like that are similar to these. But I'm just trying to give it a little bit more information by, you know, adding in my rating and then the IMDB rating. So, you know, if it can do anything with that extra bit of information, fantastic. So I'm just going to scroll down, have a little bit of a look just to make sure it looks correct visually. Now, half of these movies I don't even remember watching, so I'll have to go back. So that says 1114. So I'm just going to change the title for that. 1114. Um, so it must be equals 14. But it's thinking it's a, um, I wonder if I can do it like this. Uh, it's just a bit in. Work it out if I was a bit more patient. So that list looks pretty reasonable to me. Oh, I'll get rid of all these ones. I'm not quite sure what happened there, but anything below a six, let's say anything below a six. I thought I deleted all those, but perhaps I didn't. I said half of these, I don't even remember what they were. Right, so now I've got roughly. Um, 169 movies for chat GTP to digest. So I'm going to highlight all these. And as I said before, there's a very good chance you can just export them, you know, export the list off IMDb, sort it just by your rating, and then just give it the top 100 and see how it goes. But I said, I'm just thinking this might give me a slightly better result. So now I go back to my chat GPT. And so I'm just going to say to it, um, below is a list of all the movies that I like. The in a CSV format, in a CSV format, it'll probably work that out itself. Um, in a CSV format, the first field is the movie name. The second field is my rating. The third field is the IMDB rating. Could you please suggest a list of 20 movies that I have not seen before that you know I might like? Again, it's up to you how you how you structure this. I'm not being anything clever. You know, there's lots of YouTube channels where or you know YouTube channels where people you know, they're saying that there's clever ways to trigger the prompt, but just experiment with it yourself and see how you go. Um, please display the movie name, uh, short description, its IMDb link, and its IMDb rating. So let's see what it's going to look like. And then I'm going to paste in my CSV list and see if it, uh, takes it. Sometimes you've got to reduce the list, it'll say it's too long. So I'm saying below is a list of all the movies that I like in a CSV format. The first field is a mo is the movie name. The second field is my rating. The third field is the IMDB rating. Could you please suggest a list of 20 movies that I've not seen before that I might like? Movie name, short descriptions, IMDB link, and it's IMDB rating. Okay, so let's go and hit enter. So here we go. So it's saying, you know, here's some movies that I might like. So IMDb rating of 8.8, .8, Inception, The Prestige, 
I don't know what that one is. Matrix, I've seen. Dark Knight, I've seen. But I, it's not in my list. It just means that I haven't gone and rated them. Matrix Reloaded, Matrix Revolutions, Truman Show. And just depending on how long it runs for, sometimes it doesn't give me all 20 responses. But, you know, once it's given me a list like this, I can say, you know, can you please give me another 20 um, that I have not seen in the same format as above? Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't. So here we go. So it's given me another 20. Every now and again, it repeats them as well, though. But that's okay. So some of these I, I definitely haven't seen. And just means if I have seen them, it means I just haven't gone and given them an IMDB rating. And again, sometimes it does forget that I have seen them. So what I do now is all I go up to here and I say, um, hold down my control key and I click. And so that you can see that opens in a new tab. Click, 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 uh, click, 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 click. And I'm just going to open them all, but you could go through a bit more, bit more selective and um, just open the ones that you, you know, want to have a look at based on the description. All right, and so that's all of those ones opened. And so now I'm going to have a quick look. So, whoop, so that was Inception. Right, Inception. I know that I've seen this one, and I think I probably would have thought it was probably about an 8 out of 10, so I'm going to rate it. And so that way, when I go and run this program again, it won't, you know, I'll, I'll, have, I'll have Inception in my exported results, and I won't do it again. But I have no idea what this one is, so... I might add this to, you know, a watch list. So I might go watch list. And so I'm going to add it to my watch list. Uh, let me go back one. I obviously don't know how to add things to my watch list. Add to watch list. Here we go. So it's in my watch list. So I can come back and I can look at the preview for that. I know I've already seen The Matrix. Probably another one that I would have given about an 8 at the time. Right. Dark Knight, I've never seen. I just, um, overall, the remakes of Batman. So I might add it to my watch list though. But anyway, so I won't, I won't go through the, I won't go through all these and, you know, bore you to death, but. I just thought this is an interesting way we can use something like ChatGPT and the Internet Movie Database to find perhaps, you know, TV shows or movies or, you know, whatever it is that you're documentaries, whatever you're into, you know, that you might not have seen before. So it's um, it's been a quite quite a good tool. So, you know, there's plenty of movies that I can add to my list that I, you know, haven't, haven't potentially seen before or movies that I have seen and I've just never got around to rating them. But you know, said so the more that I the more that I rate, the better the results will be the next time I do it. Again, saw the original, never had a big desire to see the sequel, but maybe I should, so I'll add it to my watch list. And you can see it's you know had eight ratings from six hundred thousand, you know, and eight point from six hundred thousand users, so it's probably pretty good. Anyway, that's um just a little tip that I've found that I uh, quite like. So I hope that was useful to someone.